Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Legends Arceus. For last episode of our Daybreak questline bringing us to the Alabaster Islands on a mushroom cake delivery, we set out into a blizzard to capture our final member of the incarnate trio, Tornadus, before heading out to the Cornet Highlands to take on our next massive mass outbreak. With the investigation already complete, we soon report to Mai. Okay, then, let's heal up my poorly hurt Pokemons. Oh, it's beautiful that you called him over. And I don't want to go back yet. we got to speak to Mai anyway. Yeah, I've got the request. I clean your eye. I bet my balloons are quite a capable young lady. No, not balloons. Not now. Do you think you can show me your balloon bursting technique? You need to burst as many of my ador or adorable balloons as possible while riding with Pokemon. It's captain, really. Managed to burst four balloons. Well, that'd be an impressive start. Oh, no. We... This is a new, oh, this is a new balloon race that's been patched in. The ultimate balloon race. Oh, no. I've got to beat it. <laughs> I've got to win it. Oh, no. The ultimate balloon race. All right, let's see if I've uh, maxed any of my ever do's here. Landorus and Tornadus are done. A storm stirring Pokemon is said to cause the seasons to turn by whipping up the air. I suspect his human-like form to be a false one. And also, when the incarnations of wind and of lightning clash, Landorus arrives to quell the conflict. As the temple, tempests, and thunderbolts abate, the land is sure to be blessed with bountiful harvests. Landorus is the peacemaker. All right. Well, let's have a look at this balloon race of yours then. He says. Maybe it's sixty balloons in one minute and fifty seconds. All right, well, let's learn the course. <laughs> You've got to jump at the start. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's an African... <laughs> Not even sure I can charge that because of where it's at. And you gotta dive to go down across this way. Can I dash from the start? No, I can't. My goodness, you have to hit. These are some very accurate hits here. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? I didn't hit that one either. Okay, this bit of the course seems a little bit easier. At what point do you want me to start dashing? I got the 40. I got 43 on the first try. Welcome back. You burst 43 balloons. You're so close to bursting them all. A little reward should help you keep you motivated. Three gigged and balls. I beat the target of 40, so the request is actually complete. I think I'm going to finish that one off with a pair of editing, personally, as we continue on to try and get to Arceus. I knew it was something special. Keeping up with my door, balloons, movements, even while riding Pokemon. But this is in the end, of course. I'll still be around for whenever you want a challenge.
was that sound? Okay, I've got nothing to report, but I did get the 40 balloons, so that worked out. The request is complete. Uh, where do I go from here? To my, right? Oh my goodness, I can't believe that's there. I can't believe that's actually there. Ah, no, not to my. I need to go get Electivi. I was just thrown off by there being that mission again. Like, what the... Cr the crazy. That's uh, pretty crazy. Okay. So our next target is Electivire. Our Pokedex currently stands at 240 scene, 238 caught. The two that I haven't, I've seen and I haven't caught, I'm pretty sure, might be Bliscoll's Evolution and Electivire. So those are the two. So those are my current goals. I feel he's definitely just randomly going to look my way shortly. I need to sort of close enough. Perfection. Electivire is caught. That means I just now have to get the Razor Claw. Once I've got that, we'll be laughing. So begins the grind. I actually thought I would one shot it. Obviously not. Maybe I'll get it first time, you never know. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take that indeed. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty lucky. <laughs> that time. That time was pretty lucky. And where's the pasture with the Pokemon I put in originally? Oh, they've been overtaken by things we've caught in the meantime. My god. Gligar, welcome. You're about to become a thing. Oh, wait a second. Do I have to do it at any, like, specific... I think I've got to do it at a specific time. But to, to... Now is the time! Now is the time. And there we have Glitzcore! Let's look at our Pokedex now, shall we? 240 seen, 240 caught! That's how close we are now! Let's make this dream a reality! Good work out there! Seems we uh, may have learned all we can from the Highlands for now. Yeah, you two are. Hope your investigation's going all right. Yeah, we're doing fine-ish. I heard folks in our clan, the Pearl Clan, are all helping investigate these massive mass outbreaks or whatever you call them. And I thought, what kind of leader would sit back and do nothing while you're all working? So I figured I'd grab whatever supplies I could find that might come in handy for you. Yeah, materials for those sticky glob things. 100 spoiled apricorns, 100 balls of mud, and 100 cast of fern leaves. How leader-like if you had a man. Don't make fun, Mai. I'm trying to help. Misunderstand me, Adaman. As a sister who helped raise you, I'm truly proud to see how far you've come. Listen, Alessandria, I've been wondering. Do you think these massive mass outbreaks might be some sort of a trial for Mighty Dialga or Mighty Palkia? I mean, <laughs> bit of a leap. It kind of feels like it, right? If someone's telling us if you've got the guts to face a real test of your partners, take on these Pokemon. Otherwise, stand back. 
Well, I used to see it that way, Adaman. Yeah, well, I'd love to stay and talk, but I've got an appointment to keep with that Benny fellow. I've been trying to get him to teach me his tricks. You mean his ninja skills? I want to know his recipes and his ninja tricks. Once I do, I'll give you a proper demonstration. But in the meantime, stay safe as you investigate. Seems like a very aggressive salute. My my, it would seem having a trusted partner causes one to view these outbreaks in a rather different light. Well then, the Alabaster Islands still await. One more steep hurdle for us to overcome. One more. Munch! It appears Munch Lax is eager to continue as well. We'll await you at Jubilee's front gate as usual. Join us when you're ready for another survey. The massive mass outbreaks give us even more stuff. What can I make with that now? I mean, what am I looking at jet balls? Uh, should definitely make more of these. 23. More gigaton as well. Make some extra max power. Shouldn't just one. I can make some more full restores as well. Uh, well, the game seems to speak that I should make sticky globs. Says the guy who just doesn't use them. Ah, oh, man, I shouldn't have used up all the caster ferns. I should have made some more smoke bombs. I guess it's back to Jubilife then. Serious work we've put in. We're super close. There's literally two slots on the list to get. His tail is tipped by a thick, horrible stinger. To bring down prey, it will first obscure their vision by covering their face with his body, and then it will use the stinger to inject them with venom. That is Gligar. What a lovely Gligar. Indeed. So what would you like to do now? Guess I'm back to the village, aren't I? And back to the ancient retreat. Then back to the village. <laughs> we just need to go places. <laughs> By the look of it, we ended up with like 10 extra requests from just this one update. The mass outbreak over here. Gold duck. Getting closer. Ever closer. Right, we completed the Pokedex entries for those three guys. Ah, you've arrived. You now know much about Landorus, Tornadoes, and even Thunderous. Well done. In more normal times, I would bid you let those free fly free as is their nature. But we are yet fresh from the tearing of the space-time rift. Unless it's until its after effects fade entirely, perhaps it's better to keep our trio contained. And now it is time to tell you the rest. What is it? There is one more of that cohort. Come. This is an Anamorous, a Pokemon held as the Herald of Spring. Anamorous is not particularly given to ill behavior, but I imagine you'd like to document her for your Pokedex, wouldn't you? Catch her then, if you like. She always flits about in the Crimson Mylands. Okay then. Where? Crimson Mylands, but where? We're so close. That's new, is it? <laughs> I don't know. She's a new one, is she? Cool. Right, so we've just seen her go off. But I'm assuming, then, that she... Oh, wait, I don't know. Is this one here? Which means if we capture this one there, that's it. Like, we start the quest... Arceus, or at least we've done it. We're that close. I feel like I should get this out of the way first, though. Our last time of research is to look into massive mass outbreaks in the Alabaster Islands. Let's finish this together. Request 101. If you're ready, shall we embark on our investigation? Yes. Let's get underway. Snowfields Camp. 
update content continues. Cold here seems to cut right through you. What are you two doing here? I came to advise you that the massive mass outbreak seen here in the Alabaster Islands seems slightly different than the others. The outbreaks haven't driven rainstorms in other areas, but here they seem to be tied to blizzards. Blizzards, you say? It could just be the cold environment, of course, but I have to wonder if there's more to it. Well, we better get to it. I think we should look into more outbreak locations than usual this time. No, 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 no. More than usual, why? I know increasing the scope of our investigation is a lot to ask at this point. And even for someone with your skill, Alexandria, it will take a long time to check so many areas by yourself. It's a good thing I'm here to help you out then, isn't it? And I suppose even Leon might be of some use. I would appreciate the help. Thank you. This will be your first time investigating these outbreaks, won't it, you two? Try not to overstrain yourselves. Certainly. So to sum up, Alexandria will focus on just three areas as she's been doing till now. Meanwhile, Slugu and I will handle the remaining areas. There's something wrong with your math there, little man. You've left me out of the equation. So you can do basic math, can you? Uh, I now to subtract you from this assignment for starters. I will finish all the remaining areas on my own. You needn't factor in. I can't tell if they hate each other or if they're both enjoying this. Either way, I imagine they never would have crossed paths if it hadn't been for you. But now let us focus on investigating the outbreaks here in the Icelands. That we shall. Right then. Oh yeah. First of all, identify. Uh. Why? Camo there. <laughs> Hiding away. She disappeared in the snow. Match up, Abra. Dear what? I guess Dewot should be the main target, really, when you think about it. I mean, to be honest, these three. Maybe even the Zora one, because Zora's pretty cool. My god, that balloon challenge, though. That's going to be some quite exact movement. Sometimes don't you just feel they just want to be mean for the hell of it? <laughs> One of those is a lot bigger than the others. Wow, you went instantly hostile. Would you actually see me or not? Okay, you do. Okay, chill, little ones. I just realized something. Why don't I just go to the Abra one? That was really easy. All you actually have to do is just run at them and they'll teleport away, right? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I mean, it's not ideal, I guess, but... I dealt with, uh... Some of them pretty fast. <laughs> One dealt with. I actually uh, quite like that as a strategy. Just charge the way in. I 
really, do I want to, like... Okay, the blizzard's... The blizzard's perpetuating for a long time, by the look of it. Oh, I angered some of them again. Whoa! Not that again. That was worrying. He knows where we are. We're not clearing out this outbreak all that fast. I'm not fond of the uh, the tree clipping thing. A feather ball. Sabra up, I'm afraid. I had to clear you out. Going in. <laughs> right, so that is two. Yes, two. The matchup one would be best, and it would be with Braviary, wouldn't it? So again, we should be able to capture some more of these buddies, especially, I was going to say if we can get a bit up high. Yeah, this blizzard really wants to continue on by the look of it. about that. Yes, they're very easy to spot me. Way too easy. No, nope. none of you should be able to see me. I disagree. Let me clear you out. Last location we need to do this in. Oh, you've gone violent. Okay. Turned out in the end I couldn't see them. Caused me a little bit of an issue. You're gonna use that. I'm just gonna use another one of these. Luckily, Braviary is incredibly well built for taking these dudes out. It's only 90 accuracy though, so I might miss a hit or two. Uh, yeah, I need to go behind here. And yeah, that'd be why. More dudes were inevitably going to spawn in. It's 
two left? Three. There we go. Got him. Three massive mass outbreaks. Done, done, done. So you finished checking the three areas you were charged with in the Icelands. I've gone word from Melly too. Says he's about ready to wrap it up. Ian said he and Melly worked together to investigate the last outbreak. Well then it seems we're done here. You've worked tirelessly to investigate all across the Sui. But we still don't know what causes these massive mass outbreaks. And they pose a threat to anyone without strong partners at their side. It'd be nice if these outbreaks didn't put anyone in danger but things rarely work out that easily. Perhaps these outbreaks are someone's way of telling us that we must better understand the Pokemon with which we share vast history. Yeah, I could get behind that idea. Is that it? Really, really? But for now, we better get going if we want to make it on time. Come along, you two. On time for what? What's going on? I feel like this might be set up for more stuff, though. Just a little bit. Alright then, nothing else probably got maxed out, I imagine. Screaming, a blood-curling battle cry. This huge and ferocious blood Pokemon goes out and hunt. It blasts lakes with shockwaves and scoops out any prey that float to the water's surface. Sounds pretty good. The what got got as well. It's exquisite double sh scowl chop technique. It's likely the result of daily training can send even Master the Blade fleeing in defeat. Electrode got maxed as well. Tissue on the surface of his body is curiously similar in composition to an apricorn. When irritated, this Pokemon lets loose an electric current equal to 20 lightning bolts. 20 lightning bolts. Got somewhere like 6,000 done today on those points. Only that much. This is the place. And we picked the perfect time. What do you think? <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> this lovely space, given to us by mighty Palkia. And this fleeting time mighty Dialga gave us. Such a beautiful view is only possible because we have both, together. This we means so much to me. My love for it is as vast as the land itself. Tell me, Alexandria, did you enjoy surveying this land once again? Oh, yeah, really? It's, it's quite fun, yeah. I still haven't finished my actual full main quest yet. You just kind of added on to it. I've still got to meet God. Was it? I suppose it's always thrilling to have a mystery to delve into. I enjoyed it too. I heard these massive mass outbreaks trigger some kind of reaction in your Munchlax, my. Is he doing all right? He seems fine. Pokemon remain mysterious creatures to us. Who's to say how he does it? I'm just grateful to him for helping us find the outbreaks and telling us what we'll find at each. Reminds me, I spread the word that the people of his Wii should be alert for massive mass outbreaks during rainstorms. Thanks for that, Arita. Hopefully no more poor souls will wander into one unprepared and take a beating. Seems like our lives are going to keep on changing, and we'll keep adapting just as fast. An ever-changing his Wii. Tell me, Alessandria, how do you think the future people of his Wii will live with Pokemon? <laughs> They'll battle in gyms, I'll have you know. In gyms? What is a gym? And why would you battle him on Olazandria? Well, that's a question I ask. You say there are places where you can challenge your skill battler to prove your metal? Interesting. I'd like to be the one who deems a challenger worthy. I mean, they get easy compared to, like, having to actually face off against Cleaver, for example. 
Well, whatever may come in the future, aren't we lucky to have been born into such fascinating, fast-changing times? You said it. Well, that change is always good, but there'll always be people who don't want change at all. Better. But hey, that's life. We'll just have to work hard and push on. And I'm glad we'll have you with us as we do it, Alexandria. Thanks for everything. You certainly have some curious ideas, but I suppose that's no surprise coming from someone who fell out of the sky. We may have finished our investigations for now, but Munchlax and I will continue to help you however we can. You know, Alexandria, perhaps these new outbreaks truly are just a gift from a mighty Sinnoh. A gift meant for you, for all the good changes you've brought to us, all of us here in Hisui. There we go. We finished the update content by the look of things. Now it's time for us to finish our actual full game. One Pokemon remains to be caught.